Hi, it's Chuck from Dig Garden Shop and today we're just going to talk about how to group plants and how to get ready for your terrarium. So on the table here is I have different things to think about while you're building a terrarium. The first thing to think about is the size. If you have a nice big jar like that I have here, then you're able to use larger plants. But if we start using things that are smaller, you know, we have to limit it to one plant. And just so when we're choosing our plants, how to group them has a lot to do with our container. And of course, you choose plants that are made for a terrarium, which is just means wet feet. I mean, basically like a rainforest situation, jungle floor, where anything that likes that kind of moisture can live together harmoniously. So uh, the thing to think about, I think what makes a most interesting terrarium is textures. And I think not only green tones and color and all like, but textures are really a, a, a subtle way of making your terrarium very interesting besides on what's on the surface. So a fern is really a great um, example of something that can look very tree-like in your place. And it's a little rough and sometimes your ferns can be, you know, really rough and the texture is what's, it's matte finished. Again, you can, there are so many kinds of ferns. This is a fern. So again, it's a ruffled fern and it brings another kind of texture. This is a fern. This is a type of maidenhair fern. So you can see that all three of these together would be enough as far as different textures, also different greens. Now, if you're adding color, one, one thing that acts, adds a lot to a terrarium is photonia, which is one of the few you can put in a terrarium. You can use orchids and everything to add a little oomph to your uh, terrariums, but these are two great, this is a polka dot plant and this is um, the striped polka dot, which is also a photonia. They both add, this one tends to get a little large for your big, uh, for your terrarium. So unless you have something big, don't use this one. Again, these are great ground covers. These only grow about the size you're seeing. These are baby tears, two different types of baby tears. This one makes a great ground cover as well because you can just rip that apart and use it in your terrarium like that. This one separates as well so that you can put a clump over here, one side, a clump over here, and then it grows. And when it does grow on your terrarium, it kind of would grow on the side of your glass, which is great. Speaking of that, here, sorry, one more fern that I think is really an incredible one because of its texture and its variegation is some sort of ground cover that actually fills out the bottom. This is a vinca. Um, it looks a bit like an ivy and everything. Ivies can work. They tend to be, they rot out a little bit. So this vinca is a great ground cover. So again, the things you think about are color, so that the variance is of interest there. Texture, so that you have matte finish, glossy finish, variegated, um, just different um, interests in your texture. And then color, if you wanted to add color, it's always great to add something that is like a, a pink tone or an orchid flowering thing that will continue to bloom. African violet works like that too. So that's how to pick your colors for, or pick your plants for a terrarium. Thanks.